Brothers and sisters, what you see in this video will leave you speechless. A man sees an angel of death right in front of his eyes. And just after a few seconds, the man died right on the spot. Brothers and sisters, how did the man die? Did he actually see an angel of death before he died? In this video, you will notice an extraordinary moment that sends chills down your spine. If you are feeling drowned in the sea of sins, when your heart is constantly berating you from the inside, then it is a return back call from your Creator. If you are looking for a proper direction to refresh in your Iman, then our best-selling book, 100 Heart-Touching Stories to Revive Your Iman and Faith, must be your most preferable selection to read right now. The link is in the description box below. This video was captured live on the CCTV cameras. The video captures the sheer terror in the eyes of a man as he sees the angel of death standing right in front of him. Brothers and sisters, what happened will leave you in shock. Brothers and sisters, there is a video of a man walking to the grocery store. While walking, he paused for a moment to check on something. As he does that, this man's face changes abruptly. Suddenly, he sees an invisible figure in front of his eyes. For seconds, he could not move and then he turned as if this figure was floating around him. The man's eyes widen with fear and his body trembles uncontrollably. At that moment, he became clearly aware of the arrival of his final moments. With that, he collapsed to the floor in shock and died there. Brothers and sisters, the man's reaction is so intense that it leaves everyone frightened and curious about what he saw. However, people are confused about this invisible figure. Some speculate that it was a hallucination or a trick, while others believe it could be an angel of death. Only Allah knows best. But, brothers and sisters, as Muslims, we strongly believe that Allah appointed angels to seek our souls right before we pass away from this world. These angels are invisible to us, but their presence is felt during our final moments. Brothers and sisters, Allah has honored every Muslim who has lived righteously in this life and hereafter. Just like the life of the fifth great caliph. Brothers and sisters, we all know the four great caliphs of Islam after Prophet Muhammad But do you know, there is also a fifth caliph? This caliph only ruled for 30 years of his life. But he left a lasting impact on the Muslims. His name was Umar bin Abdul Aziz and he is often addressed as the fifth rightly guided caliph. Who was Umar bin Abdul Aziz? What kind of ruler was he? Brothers and sisters, Umar bin Abdul Aziz was the eighth Umayyad caliph. He ruled for 30 years but people remember him as one of the most and righteous rulers in Islamic history. Umar bin Abdul Aziz was always prioritized the well-being of his subjects. He spent days and nights working for Muslim welfare. Brothers and sisters, do you know what Umar bin Abdul Aziz first did when he became the leader and caliph of the empire? Umar bin Abdul Aziz's wife received jewelry from her father's inheritance. Her father was also a relative of Umar bin Abdul Aziz, Abdul Malik. When Umar bin Abdul Aziz saw his wife receiving this from her father, he told his wife to either put this jewelry in the treasure of Baytul Mal or separate from me. Brothers and sisters, why did the Caliph ask her wife to do that? 
Umar bin Abdul Aziz knew that his jewelry was wrongfully brought by his uncle. His uncle used to oppress people. Umar bin Abdul Aziz was concerned that his wife would benefit from wealth gained through unethical means. So he asked her to either put the jewelry in the treasure of Baitul Mal, a public treasury used for the welfare of the people, or to separate from him. Brothers and sisters, Umar bin Abdul Aziz stood for justice in his household, even if it meant making difficult decisions with his own family. The wife of Umar bin Abdul Aziz was also a God-fearing woman, so she agreed to put the jewelry in Bayt al-Mal. Brothers and sisters, Allah honored Umar bin Abdul Aziz in such a unique way that he will be remembered for generations to come. Umar bin Abdul Aziz sincerely feared Allah, so during his final moments, he prayed for Allah's mercy. When he passed away, a message was miraculously left in his grave. What does the message say? It said, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Amanum min Allahi li Umar bin Abdul Aziz min an nar. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This assures that Umar bin Abdul Aziz will be safe from the fire. Subhanallah. What's a remarkable sign of Allah's mercy and favor upon Umar bin Abdul Aziz? His lifelong devotion to Allah has been rewarded with safety and relief from any torment. This message not only brings comfort to his family, but also serves as a reminder to all believers of the power and mercy of Allah. It reinforces our faith and encourages us to strive for goodness and devotion. May we all strive to follow his example and seek Allah's mercy in our own lives.